Yes, all right, changing the subject, right? We better <laughs> yes, better get up <laughs> uh, and talk about everybody's favorite subject, with is, which is food. Chef Robert Saliza, the executive master chef from City Dock Restaurant right at the Sheridan Waterside Hotel, is back, and you're making au gratin a couple of different ways. Yes, and right. a lot of folks are going to say, well, okay, I made potatoes au gratin, but this is something different. This is kind of yes. your whole meal. This is the whole meal. It's like a, you know, a shepherd's pie or something like that. Everything's in there at once. Okay. You know, what I've got here is the regular salmon. And I brought salmon that I've already steamed to show you just the texture you should break it at. Smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. now, of course, when you have smoked salmon, it has that woodsy, earthy taste. So right. be very careful when you mix it because then you're going to be overpowering in whatever you're making. Okay. Fresh dill, leeks, butter, Gruyere cheese, or Swiss. Okay. And then cheddar for the top and then some more fresh dill for garnish. When you buy the Gruyere cheese, does it look, you've shredded that. I've shredded that. So I got you it buy in it in a block. Buy okay. it in a block. And that's okay. the best way it's... What you, when you go to the store and you buy it like this already, you're paying for convenience. Right. So do it yourself. It's, it's not that hard. The mashed potatoes, uh, I elected not to do 101 because, well, I'll go over it. Boil water, put the potatoes in, salt. When they're cooked, drain them, then mash them, put the butter and cream, just in case somebody doesn't realize Thank you. how to do that. It's really, <laughs> <laughs> real easy. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, just sweating the leeks, getting them to a point where I can go ahead and... Uh, get them into the pan. Okay. And that's, you know, you don't really want to overcook the leeks, but just get them where they're sweated and they're, and they're soft because it's going to go in the oven after. What's the difference between, um, like, scallop potatoes and potatoes au gratin? Well, potatoes au gratin are, uh, you have different flavors of, of seasoning in them. Okay. But you can either slice them or you can put them in whole. The country potatoes au gratin are whole potatoes that you just work that way. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of choice. Okay. Uh, the sliced potatoes are a lot better because you get the flavor of the cheese between each layer. Right. And it's a lot nicer. And where are you, but we're using mashed today. Mashed potatoes that okay. I've already taken care of. Okay. So we're getting the leeks going. And I should mention too, Chef Robert is also going to make something that's for dessert. Um, berries au gratin. Berries au gratin, yes. Okay. And we'll put the Italian cream on top of that and put that together. Mm -hmm. You know, remember how we talk about Italy all the time? Yes, of course. We never talk about my family. When I, I was born in Italy. Right. And I came over here when I was four years old. You mean your immediate family. I was going to say, yeah, we're always talking yeah. about your family in Italy, but you mean your immediate family, family. Uh -huh. So when we, uh, we were in Italy, my brother, he was a, he was a little person that would, uh, had to be out of, out of control. <clears throat> so my next door neighbor happened to be in the Marine Corps, the Italian Marine Corps. So my dad went over there and said, listen. Can you do something with my son? He's out of control. So he, he said, let me take him for a week. He said, you know, I'll bring him to the base, and I'll put him in my, one of my platoons, and I'll, I'll take care of him. A week later, my brother came back. Yep. My dad walked in. He stood up. He said, good afternoon, sir, and everything. Everybody was shocked. So we went. he went to bed. He requested to go to sleep. He went to bed. My dad got up in the morning, flicked his light on. He jumped out of bed. He was dressed. The bed was fixed. And he was downstairs standing by the table waiting for breakfast. So my dad came down and said, Sit down, sit down. What do you want to eat? And he looks around, because my dad always had a table full of food. Mm hmm That ran in the family. And he said, uh, I'll have some of them uh, damn Cheerios over there. My dad come across the table, and, and that day it was not abuse, it was discipline. Mm hmm And so we picked him up, put him back in the chair, and I was sitting in my head chair watching all this. And the D word was a bad word. Yeah. So my sister comes down, and she sits down, and my dad says, now, what do you want? And she looks around and says, well, I sure don't want any of those Cheerios. You know, so I mean, it was just a, you know, just a way. <laughs> just one week, all that discipline just in one week. week. Man, one it week, took yeah. 13 weeks for me to uh, yep. straighten up like that. Oh, so well. did I, yeah. To each his own. I also yep. needed a tutorial on mashed potatoes, so there you go. All right, let's go uh, get our tutorial on the weather this morning. Peter on just Jeremy Wheeler. Back in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen with the executive master chef of City Dock Restaurant, Robert Saliza, is showing us how to make his salmon au gratin this morning, a salmon, leek, and potato au gratin. Mm -hmm. And you've combined some of the ingredients into the mashed potatoes. I noticed you put the smoked salmon in there. Smoked salmon, the regular salmon. And this is the way I was telling you about <clears throat> when you steam, steam the salmon, mm -hmm. be able to pull it apart with the fork, mm -hmm. and that'll tell you that it's ready. All right. And to steam it, you just, you just put like it in a I'm shallow pan? Here, like that with with a wire basket. Uh -huh. Just don't let the water hit the basket. Just let the steam come up. Okay. And that'll make it steam just like this. And when it comes fork tender, when it comes apart with the fork, mm -hmm. you don't want to have it all mushy. You just want to have it so it'll pull apart. Okay. So you'll be able to see it in there. Right. And then in it goes. Everything's in there. Um, it's <coughs> not everything though. Not the cheddar cheese. The cheddar still cheese will go on up. top. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and fill the 
the plates a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And then if you would, put the cheddar on top. I would love to. And then we'll put this in the oven at 350 for about maybe 15 minutes. Is that, how, how's that? Is that too That's much? Fine. That's okay. fine. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> too much cheddar cheese. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure you can't overdo it. We'll try not to. Okay. And then, and then we're going to make the berries au gratin, too. We're going to work on the berries au gratin. That's why I got the water boiling, because we're going to do the same thing when I make the cream mm -hmm. that I'll put over the berries and then put into the oven. Mm -hmm. And that has to be just the same way. It doesn't touch the bowl the water. It just gets to a point where the steam is doing all the work and not the boiling water. Because it, just like when you're melting chocolate, if the bowl is touching the water, the chocolate will burn. Right. Uh, I would just like to say to our studio audience and crew, it is your lucky day because Chef Robert is making a ton of these. <laughs> Thinking of everybody who's here on camera and behind the scenes. Have a good lunch today. It's a healthy item. Yeah, and fo you know, folks will say, well, how can you guys eat that You know, so early in the morning? But you know, when you get up at 3, 3 3.30, 4 o'clock to come to work, it's right on time. Yes. <laughs> Plus, we just like good food, so we'll adjust. All right. Let's put the eggs in, which is three eggs and mm -hmm. two egg yolks. I'm going to put a Five tablespoons of sugar. What did you just say? Three eggs and two egg yolks? Two egg yolks, yeah. So for uh -huh. a total of five yolks? Five or yolks, two? Yeah. Five yolks, okay. Five. Now this is the kirsch. I'm just going to put what just a that? little bit of kirsch. Oh. Just a little bit for flavor. Kirsch? Yes, it's a liqueur. Okay. Josh will talk to you about that. All righty. That's right. Joshua Ha is here. Yep. He'll join us in just a second. Now this is going to be a 10-minute process because what I'm doing is making like a custard with the steam. Mm-hmm. So for the 10 minutes, we'll be doing this here, mixing it together. Okay. Dad, if you'd like, if you can put that I in will. the oven. And now it's set pretty high, so. All right. Well, you you watch out. Okay. Um, I will throw these in the oven, and we'll, we will check back with you in exactly nine and a half minutes. Nine and a half. See how Thank that 10-minute process is going, <laughs> Cheryl. All right. We are back in the Hampton Road Choke Kitchen. Joshua Ha is joining us now. He's going to tell us what to pair with what we're making today. But first, I said we'd be back in eight and a half minutes to check on this <laughs> ten minute process. Looks like our time is perfect. You've got it's the cream all right. ready to go for the berries au gratin. Cream's ready to go. And the way you can tell it's ready is when it leaves a trail, mm -hmm. when you pull the whip out. So what's in there? This is uh, what I had said, the cream, the butter, the eggs. We had talked about some of that uh, liqueur that Josh is going to tell right. you about. Right. Sugar. Then I just go ahead and start whipping it. Put, Take it in a bowl to the side. Put it all in. Then put it here. Don't try to cook it. And put Mix it, it and in. Cook it. Because okay. it has different temperatures. Gotcha. And, okay, and again, you've got kind of like a double boiler set yeah, up. Double boiler set up. Melting it. Now I've got fresh berries. Now you can do whatever you want for berries. I mm -hmm. mean, if you just don't like raspberries, you can just go with straight blackberries, or you can go with any type of berry you want. You can go to cantaloupe and honeydew if you want. You okay. know, just whatever you like. But the liqueur that I've used is very sweet. Mm -hmm. And Josh will talk about it. But this is isn't this attractive looking? It is. And this sure is so. what we're going to have for Valentine's Day. Oh. When we have our big uh, celebration on Valentine's Day, it's going to run the whole weekend. So if you want to make a reservation at the city dock, now's the time to do that. Okie dokie. And you're going to put that in the oven, then what's going to happen to it in the oven? It's going to get a little golden brown on top, just like you do on a, on a meringue. Right, right. And then it'll be ready to eat. All righty, sounds good. Now we're going to keep the berry theme mm -hmm. moving right on over to our beverages today. Oh, right. The chef used a little splash of this berry liqueur in there. And then you're using it as well for a cocktail? He did. We're, we're going to pair that first today. So okay. if you have any champagne left over from New Year's Eve, probably do. perfect time. Okay. okay. And it doesn't have to be fancy. I'd actually recommend that it's not. Don't break not out the $80, $90 bottle for this cocktail. But okay. it's uh, champagne and Chambord. Mm -hmm. And Chambord is a uh, black raspberry uh, liqueur from mm -hmm. France. Mm -hmm. And just want to fill your... Uh, Typically with champagne, you're always going to do two pours in your glass because you've got to let the bubble settle a little bit. Okay. Fit it all in there. But, uh, um, so be patient. Champagne in there. And then uh, I put about an ounce of uh, Chambord in there. Mm -hmm. And then you can finish it off. With a little bit more of the champagne. And this is a dessert cocktail. It is. Or it can be an aperitif, too, before your meal. Okay. Light and refreshing. Um, like I said, black raspberry if you want. You can even uh, garnish it with a black raspberry. But of it's beautiful on its own. Yeah, no, that's but that's neat yeah. though. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. That's I thought right. it, I thought it was going to sink. It's a physics lesson too. And for the um, the salmon, potato, mm -hmm. and uh, leek gratin, we're going to pair it with a couple of wines. First one's the ZD Chardonnay mm -hmm. from uh, Napa Valley. Uh, winemaker Robert Deleuze does such an awesome job on this full-bodied 
um, Chardonnay, yeah. a little bit of apple pear in there, mm -hmm. um, and some nice uh, tent of oak. Also. I figured you'd bring a white because technically, I mean, it's it's seafood, right? Yeah. But, but then what else did you bring? Well, we can do a red, but we're going to go on the light side, so Pinot Noir. I knew you were going to yeah. say that. See, I'm <laughs> learning. I knew. I knew. Okay. And this is Aubon Clement uh, by Jim Clendenin. Uh, mm -hmm. It comes from Santa Barbara County, and it is a uh, 2008 Pinot Noir. All right. Also, don't forget, you know, I heard you talking about the uh, Platinum Plates Awards. And yes. uh, City Dock actually won a gold this year. So. Did you? Yeah, Congratulations. So come and so give a there. fair a try. All right. Uh, don't forget about the Valentine's Day specials going on over there at the restaurant, right. too. Go ahead and make your reservation. And, you know, folks, probably just go ahead and spend the night. We are. We have a, we have a rooms package. And um, uh, Chef and also uh, uh, Jonathan, the winemaker at Chatham, are doing an uh, educational class. Oh, great. On that Saturday prior, so we, we have a lot of stuff going on at the hotel. Check All us right. out. Well, fortunately, we get to see you guys each week, so we'll yes. talk more about those events as they come for up. Sure. All right. Thank you very much, Josh, for All showing right. us that and for making this meal. We're going to give it a try in a few minutes.